Let's talk about global loot modifiers. Alrighty, friends, we're back in the challenge once more, and in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom global loot modifiers to Minecraft. Now, this has since 118 to 119 changed quite significantly. So, what we're going to do is in our tutorial mode package, we're going to right click new package called loot. And inside of there, we'll need two new classes. The first one is the add item modifier. So this is, well, basically it's going to represent a modifier, a global loot modifier that is going to be able to be used so that we can add stuff or add items to existing loot tables. And the other one is going to be the mod loot modifiers. So this one is basically needed to register all of that stuff. Now in the mod loot modifiers, we're going to start by adding a public static final deferred register. Of course, a deferred register of type codec of type question mark extends i global loot modifier. Let's import the codec class com mojang serialization. There you go. And this is the loot underscore modifier underscore serializers. And that is equal to a deferred register dot create forge registries dot keys dot global loot modifier serializers tutorial mod tutorial mod dot mod ID. There you go. Now all of the code is of course going to be available to you in the description below. Type a to an individual gist as well as we're making the register method over here that we have seen plenty of times before. Let's add the bus over here and there you go. Now we have a register method and we should call this in our constructor right here. So mod loot modifiers that register passing in the mod event bus and there we go. Now we can proceed on to the add item modifier. Now in this case, I will actually be copying over the entire class because in this case it is going to be stay pretty much the same except for maybe one or two things over here. But like I said, this is all available to you one way or the other. So you can see we're basically making a custom codec right here. Now I've not really talked that much about codecs as they are quite, uh, quite complex over here. However, I will link a great article from the Gemwire UK wiki in the description below. That's the Forge community wiki and that has a great article on how codecs work and how you can make your own as well. I do definitely recommend checking that out. So what you can see the most important method here is the do apply method because basically this object array list you can just literally think of this as a list of item stacks that is the loot that should be generated in via that loot table. So for example you kill a creeper and you get two gunpowder for example that would be the list of these item stacks, right? It would be two gunpowder in one item stack in here. And when you return this list, that is now the modified loot that is going to be dropped. So anything that you add here, that is going to then be added there. That's the general idea. So if you want to add something, you can see generated loot is just a list, add a new item stack of the item that we're reading in through a JSON file. We're gonna see that in just a moment, the JSON file. Oh yeah, that is pretty much all that we have. And then here, we're just making it so that it only is added 50% of the time. Now you can of course change this. This would now be 80% of the time because we're checking basically, is this bigger or equal than this? And because the next float can be anywhere between zero and one, it is bigger than 0.2 about 80% of the time. So think about that. And that should hopefully illuminate the randomness over here as well. And once you have that, we can now create the add item modifier over here. So that's going to be a public static final registry object of type codec of type question mark extends I global loot modifier add underscore item equals loop modifier serializers dot register holding it at underscore item and then we're going to do add item modifier dot codec and there we go now the modifier is added and we can proceed to the json files all right so the first thing we'll need is in the resources data folder in tutorial mod and in there we need a new directory called loot underscore modifiers there you go and then I will actually be copying over the JSON file. It is called blueberry underscore seeds underscore from underscore grass dot JSON. And you can see it's not that crazy. It is of type add item. That should be more or less self-explanatory, right? We'll call this serializer add item. And it's basically going to serialize this. It's going to check for the block grass. If this condition is met, so basically we're just drawing grass over here, then the blueberry seeds is going to get added right here. That's going to become the item field. And then there's a 50% chance that we add the blueberry seeds 
to the generated loot. Now we still need to actually register this more or less, and that's in data forge. And there we want a new folder or new directory called loot underscore modifiers. Making sure we write everything correctly, and that is called global underscore loot underscore modifiers.json. And you can see we're just referencing tutorial mod and then blueberry underscore seeds underscore from underscore grass. Let's write this JSON right here. We're just making sure that this is in there. And now everything should work totally fine. So you can already go into an existing world or a new world, whatever you so choose and destroy grass. And hopefully we'll get some blueberry seeds. Let's join the game and see if it works. All right, find ourselves in Minecraft again. Let's, of course, change to survival mode. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And you can already see, there we go. We got some blueberry seeds. And you can see normal seeds are still dropping. And, of course, the blueberry seeds with 50% chance of dropping are dropping way higher in a chance than normal wheat seeds in this case. But regardless of that, we have modified the loot table for the grass. So that is very interesting indeed. And that is pretty much the way that you can modify any loot table in Minecraft. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. So, yeah.